Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Matilda and in today's video I will show you how to transform a quite boring looking plant pot. I mean the shape is good, that's why I bought it. I bought it in a thrift store and but the color is a bit bleh. It's really ugly. I don't mind nice natural colors if they're nice. This is a non-color and not nice. The ugly colored plant pot was just formed into this. So let's start the video and I will show you how to do it. To expect a plant pot, you will need two colors of spray paint. I picked Dracelium's white with a flat finish and a sun yellow with a glossy finish. This spray paint does not require primer, but if your spray paint does, make sure to pick a primer up too. The tools you will need, one inch wide frog tape, a craft knife, a cutting mat and a ruler. I also used some optional items including scissors, pencil and tape measure. First prime your plant pot with white. Make sure to really shake your can vigorously for one minute before starting to spray paint. Make sure to shake often during use as well. Start to spray 20 to 40 centimeters away from the pot and spray in a steady back and forth motion, slightly overlapping each stroke. Apply two or more coat within a few minutes apart. After one hour, I applied a second coat to make sure my pot was fully covered with paint. Once the pot was fully dry, around 48 hours later, I started to plan out my design. I wanted to have a West Elm inspired look after seeing these plant pots on Pinterest. I settled for pointy stripes and I attached frog tape around the pot to make sure the stripe would be evenly distributed around the pot. With frog tape, my craft knife and cutting map, I started to cut out the stripes details. I decided to make my stripes 16cm tall. As the frog tape is 1 inch wide, I used my tape measure to measure out a half inch to create the points. I decided to make my points 2cm long and started to measure and cut these out on the cutting mat. I screwed up one of my points here and that was the only one I screwed up during this project and of course it happened whilst I was filming. So I'm just correcting it by attaching a new piece of tape. I already pre-attached most of the stripes before filming. I had to cut 17 stripes, one inch space in between as my plant pot had a circumference of 34 inches. So make sure to measure your pot and apply stripes accordingly. As my frog tape was 1 inch wide, I used a piece of tape to help me place the stripes with that 1 inch space. Try to be careful when you add your stripes, uh, otherwise you will end up like me with one inch stripe, the last one, and not having enough space in between. It was easily sorted however by moving the stripes that had too much space uh, to then create an even divide. Make sure to smoothen out your tape properly to prevent paint from bleeding through while spray painting. Time to spray paint the pot yellow. Again, make sure to shake your can vigorously for one minute before starting to spray paint and then apply an even back and forth motion slightly overlapping the previous stroke. And one thing I learned in this process is also not to stop spraying at the surface but just outside the pot. Once the paint is dry to touch, in my case it was within 20 minutes, remove carefully the tape. You do not want to let the tape sit for too long as you risk to take your paint with you whilst removing the tape. Also make sure when you remove the tape to not scratch the newly painted surface. And there you have it, the fully finished plant pot. So I waited 48 hours before I put the plant into back into the pot and here is the finished result. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed how I transformed this plant pot. And if you did, forget 
don't forget to give it a little thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe either because I have a lot of other tutorials coming up but not only that I have a lot of other content planned so make sure to hit that subscribe button and until next time hey there